Because uh, realistically, I didn't know who this person was either until a while ago, but apparently Anthony Brian Logan has this whole YouTube channel where he does conservative apologia. So he's right up our alley to talk about. But before we do that, let's go ahead and talk about fan art. So from Jack and Quill, we have me telling chat to shut the fuck up. And then the chat getting all anime and dropping 50,000 channel points to force me to say those terrible words that y'all force me to say all the time. But I will not actually say them here. It begins with you and ends with war and genocide. Next, we have a piece from Galaxian Art. It said they finished a little too late for summer. But here is a swimsuit Neko Suris. You know what? It is never too late for summer. It is you've, you've never finished too late to drop swimsuit Neko Suris art. With that said, though, thank you all for your fan art submissions. And let's get right into the video itself. After I point out that if you want your fan art featured in an episode, the best way to do so is to hop into the Discord and drop them. So the word is being blocked by your avatar and real Suris. Good. All right, Anthony Brian Logan, talk to me about vaccines so I can get more channel strikes. I don't know about y'all, but for me, this news is not very convincing. That sounded so robotic. Why did that sound so robotic? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the FDA fully approving the Pfizer shot. Well... Okay. Sort of, kind of, but not really. Before we go down that road, let's talk about the rebranding of this particular shot or set of shots. Okay. Now, first it was called the Pfizer Biotech XYZ shot. Okay. But because of a federal law that I think prevents the company's name from being in the name of the shot, it has been rebranded with an acronym. Kind of like Pakistan, Punjab, Afghan, Kashmir, Sindh, Baluchistan. But that's a different story. I don't want to go down to Afghanistan, bro. So I digress. The whole point is that we have a new acronym for this particular set of shots called Comirnaty. Okay. So it was called the Pfizer shot. And then the, uh, the law kicked in and was like, hey, this can't actually be named to the name of your company. And they said, okay, and renamed it appropriately. What's the deal? What's the issue? I'm not saying that improperly. I'll place it on the screen before you. I live in Tennessee, but I'm not from here. I'm not, I no, I'm not, I don't have a Memphis accent. I'm not saying community improperly. No, Cole Myrna T. Okay. You think the name is weird. Is there, is there an argument here? Is there... Is there something I'm supposed to care about? Co for the virus. Uh, Myrna for mRNA technology. And T for community, immunity, X, Y, and Z. It's an acronym. So if you see that kind of weird word floating around, that's what it is. That's where it comes from. We'll keep... I don't know if that's really an acronym. I, does that Does that count as an acronym? I mean, I know that it's a, it's a shortening of things down, but that feels like not what an acronym is. Maybe my English is just poor. Keep on moving. Now, it has been approved, but for who and why and what specifically? Let's talk about it. If you are 16 and older, the first two shots have been approved by the FDA and only the first two shots. The third one you could still get but only under the EUA. That's emergency use authorization. Okay. So beforehand, the uh, Pfizer shot, uh, or the comorbidity shot, I guess I'm going to have to say now. Um, everybody knows what it is when I say Pfizer shot, though. We'll just go with that. Uh, but the Pfizer shot was under the emergency use because it, it had not cleared the 1,000 or 100,000 uh, test bar, among other things. Uh, it still needed to clear those things, but it was it was available for emergency use. 
and then the data came in that it was safe for use, so it's now available for use, period. The fact that a third shot is available still under uh, emergency use, th what, does that, what does that mean? What? Why do I care? The same way it had been already, and the same way it remains for all the other shots that are out there, including Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, whatever. Only the Pfizer has the approval from the FDA, but only for the first two shots. If you okay. are between 12 and 15, you can still get the shot, but only under the EUA. Okay. If you are under 12, it has not been approved at all under the EUA or from the federales. So it's a conditional approval. It's not for everybody. It's only for a certain percent of the population. And the third shot has not been approved by the FDA. So they're talking about... Wait, hold on, hold on. Has not been approved by the FDA or has been approved for emergency use by the FDA? Which one? Because if you say it just hasn't been approved, then it sounds, to an audience who you might not be clearly communicating this to, it sounds like you are saying that it's not safe or it's not it's not approved, what have you. Without that clarification there that is, is available, you gave it earlier, but then you say it differently here. I don't know. It's one of those things where, like, I've dealt with so many people who will clip certain things you say, and then we'll use those later going forward, that when you are inconsistent in how you say things, uh, it can lead people to just grab those bits. And I don't know. I would just be kind of careful about that. Just, just saying. You need the shot. The, the, the third one, if you got your shots in January and they're starting to lose efficacy, as far as I know, the Pfizer had a 42% efficacy rate in the month of July, and we're in August. So it'll probably only go downhill from here. Okay. 42% efficacy rate where Delta's concerned. Like, like with Delta. It is less able to deal with the Delta and now the MU variant because where those variants are considered, this vaccine was developed before those variants had become widespread. When the shots first came out, I was hearing about 95, 99, or whatever percent efficacy now. Yeah, because when the shots first came out, Delta was not a widespread problem. That th Things change. Viruses mutate. Do, does that... Does the idea that viruses mutate... Is that, like, new to some people? Is that, is that a thing people don't understand? Well, I, I thought it was common knowledge that these things mutated since we understood how the flu and common cold work. 42% in July... And if it tanks to like 33, 23, then it's like, okay, what's going on here? Um, well, what's going on here is more data is coming in. That's what's going on. You're going to need that third shot, but the third shot has not been approved by the FDA. Has been approved by the FDA for emergency medical use, though. Now, what's the reason why this happened so quickly? Well, I think everybody pretty much knows what's going on. This is just my humble opinion. Nobody can say ABLU spread misinformation. I'm giving my opinion. Wait, 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 no, 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 that's not how that works. If you are a content creator on the platform and you are spreading something even as an opinion, and you have 887,000 subscribers, people will take your opinion and they will operate, they will literally change how they function, how they operate based on that uh, nest of evil thank you very much for the follow you can't just hide behind this is just my opinion y you can't that is a safety net that a lot of people try to hide behind no own the thing you're going to say with your chest at the end of the day regardless of whether or not what you're saying is your opinion people are going to take what you say and they're going to operate accordingly with it I know that that's really inconvenient for people who really want to give hot takes all the time. But but trust me, I, I literally, I put out two episodes a day on my channel. And I still have to watch what the fuck I say. All that I can say is that it has been approved by the FDA. And I can say who it's been approved for and what shots and what the name of it is. That's all I can say for a fact. And all of my sources will be in the description box below so you can see what's going on. Okay, one of them was Fox News, but you know, you do you. 
However, I think the reason why this got approved is because um, there's mandates coming. I did a video about this. I've done quite a few videos about this actually, and I probably said it in a live show more than once that the military were trying to get the shots mandated, but they couldn't do it because of federal law. Federal law says you cannot mandate troops get the shot if it's not been approved by the FDA. Okay. That's also the Geneva Convention. You can't do that in Nuremberg codes. So you can't experiment on your troops. You can't do that. And technically is what this would be. Let me get this straight. Vaccine gets tested on 43,000 people. That is the experimental phase. And then it is used on the populace. That is not the experimental phase. But magically, when it's being used on the military, that's when it's the experiment. Now, I know that our country doesn't have the best track record when it comes to not violating human rights issues. Uh, and I know that they don't have the best track record when it comes to fucking over the American populace, especially our troops. I mean, just think about some of the stuff that we have done, the, the Tuskegee experiments, think about MK Ultra. think about shit that we have, in fact, done and had to apologize for, and, and, and shit like that. So, yes, on the one hand, I can understand where the skepticism comes from. I, I get it. But that's not what this is. We know literally all the information for how tests have been ran, how many people have been tested on, how those experiments happened, why certain things are getting approved when they are. All of that is largely public information. I, I feel like this hot take in here is just really weird. Because when you go out there and get the shot, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, let me know. You got Okay, I'll let you know. I signed off a waiver saying that you know it's experimental and you can't sue. Maybe. Wait, 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 wait. This sounds wrong. Have to waiver that you know vaccine is experimental. Okay, so let's see here. Let's take a look here. Can we find... Wow, experiment is nowhere in the FDA document. Okay. Um... Wow, we even have a, a fact check from Reuters. Vaccines are not experimental and they have not skipped trial stages. Yeah, that's what I've been fucking saying. Again, they've had a smaller sample group, but they have not skipped trial stages. Okay, so the claims that COVID vaccines are experimental, have uh, have skipped animal testing, and have not completed initial research trials are false. They were included in a Facebook post addressed in this check. Uh, titled Six Facts About the Three Vaccines, this post can be seen here. Four of the most damaging claims will be discussed below. Let's take a look at, the, at what those claims are. Let's take a look. Sorry, this content isn't available right now. Okay, well, I guess it's been removed on BoomerTube. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, claim one, all vaccines are considered experimental. According to the Post, all vaccines are considered experimental. This is not true. They said that they've been put through the standard safety testing. Uh, they have all been put through standard safety testing before being rolled out to the public. Both the United States and United Kingdom have authorized the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines for emergency use, while the former has also been has uh, also authorized shots by Johnson & Johnson and later by Oxford and AstraZeneca. Emergency use uh, has been issued. We already know about all that. Let's continue on going forward. Claim, while we're allowed to skip animal trials, we know that wasn't the case. Uh, claim three, none have completed initial search trials. Again, we know the number was smaller, but that does not mean that the number was not there. Let's see here. What is it? Uh, Pfizer had three trial stages. The trial had 46. Okay, so I'm wrong. I've been saying 43,000. It's 46,000 participants for Pfizer. Uh, AstraZeneca has had 23,000 people uh, used in its trial stages. Uh, and then Johnson & Johnson had 44,000 people for its trial stages. Now we've actually got the exact numbers for each of the the companies. But yeah, no, they're, they're not experimental because we, we literally have 
the numbers right here for, for how many how many people were used in the trial stages. We've we've got all the information. It's not an it's not an experiment being done on people. It's not a violation of Nuremberg. It's not a violation of human rights. Just Jesus, Jesus, fuck, I'm so I'm so tired. I'm so tired of this same point. It's it's literally these people just want to shove horse dewormer up their assholes. That's all it is. They just want horse deworming paste shoved up their butts so the omnipotent Jesus can fuck them. That's what they want. They want horse dewormer as lubricant. That's where that's where I'm at. I'm at that point. I'm at that point in life. Continue on, Brian. I, I need to be disappointed in the human race more. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm right. But I you know wrong. that if it's not been approved, it's experimental. Not how that works. Fucking. Okay. Can I, can I remember what he said last? Yes. Let me fix that. Okay, there we go. I have now officially forgotten what he said. Good. Remind me why I bludgeoned myself. It's you know you just kind of taking you just taking the risk. That's what it had been. So you couldn't approve that by federal law, and now that it's been approved, you can mandate it. And as soon as the news broke that it had been approved by the FDA. The government said, okay, we're going to mandate that to the troops. I'm talking about instantly. It was like they're working together. It's kind of weird, right? Wait, 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 wait. It's like, it's like two government organizations are working together. Of course they are, you fucking idiot. Of course organizations within a government would be working together and how work. What the fuck? Oh my fucking... Ah! Yes, of course, the government would be working with the Federal Truck Administration. Of course they would. Uh... Oh, God. Okay. The Food and Drug Administration is an agency within the United States Department of Human and Health Services. It is a government-run thing. Why would a government-run institution... Work with another government-run institution. Why? Why would they do that, Brian? Why would they do that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why would they do that? I don't know. This is the first episode of this man's content I have ever seen. Why? Why is this... Why is this the first one? Please tell me your other videos get better. Please tell me anything on your channel gets better. Please. Ah! How, you know, a quote unquote private company like Pfizer can kind of coordinate with the federales and get certain things done, like getting it out there to the market, getting it approved. Gee, I wonder by what mechanism a drug company could work with a federal drug administration. I wonder by what strange eldritch mechanisms we could possibly expect these companies, these, co these entities to be in communication with one another during a global pandemic where communication between these exact companies and entities would be expected and also paramount.
Thank you very much, Kira Sakura. I will take the dihydrogen monoxide. If the video doesn't get better in 10 seconds, I'm ending it. I mean, they wouldn't collude like that, would they? Um, I was reading somewhere that the former FDA director is now the Pfizer director. Something like that's going on, so there could be a little bit of collaboration that is beyond what the average normie is going to see. My dude, you're a normie. I've been on enough 4chan boards. You are literally a normie. Ugh. Okay, so... Yes, somebody working uh, in, in the FDA and then going on and becoming uh, the leader or, or, or you know any high-ranking official in another drug company. On the one hand, you could view that as sketch. I, I can totally see that in any circumstance that is not a pandemic where getting things approved in certain amounts of time is paramount. But you could also view it like this. If somebody has worked in the FDA, then their skill set has to do with the availability and marketability of drugs. So those are transferable skills that will likely be valuable to a private organization should you want a pay raise. And then a, an individual could have left the United States government and gone and worked in the private sector uh, and, and gotten a job in the private sector at a high ranking area because of their previous work in the FDA with those transferable skills, as happens with literally all areas of the job market. Just, 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 And Joe Biden and the crew were talking about, well, you know, the, the shots are approved now. Go out there and get it. But I'm not really sure that people are going to be convinced. Right, because they, they, they move the goalposts. You see, it's... This wasn't approved by the FDA. Why would I take something that has not been approved by the FDA? It's that first. And then, after it gets approved, why would I trust a government administration? I don't trust the government to put something in my body. I do not want daddy government sticking its dick in my asshole. That's what it turns into. It is a forever goalpost move. It, it can literally be shifted a thousand times. It doesn't matter. Because it's, it's the same people saying go out there and get it. Instead of the federal rally saying, hey, it's safe, it's fine, go out there and get it. You know, if if Biden and Fauci and a lot of these um, elected officials are saying go out there and get it and it's not really convincing the general public, then how is the FDA saying the exact same thing going to convince anyone to go out there and get it? Okay, so what would you suggest? It, it, it is literally all fine and good to criticize the methods by which our government is 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 engaging to try to to get people to be safe to do things that they should do what would you suggest what what method would you suggest obviously we have we we agree that the people who were not taking the vaccine beforehand are not going to be largely more convinced by the FDA approving it we agree with we agree on that so what method do you recommend? How would you fix the problem? What you could do is just provide information. Give me resources. Give me information that would disprove any kind of um, hesitancy I have, any kind of quote unquote rumors that may be out there. Everybody, I got a question. Do we or do we not know literally every ingredient within these vaccines down to the preservatives? H and chat if we do. Follow up. Do we or do we not uh, know the side effects of these vaccines? And th those side effects are publicly available. H and chat if we do. Last question. Last question. Um... Do we or do we not know the exact sample size numbers and, and, and time frames for the trials that were done during the experimentation phase of these? Is all of that information not publicly available? H and chat if yes. Now that we've established, ideally, via a very, very biased survey, that the chat is very H. It is incredibly H right now. There's a lot of H in the chat. And... 
Is it is it accurate now for me to say? Literally, all of that information is available for you. It is at your fingertips. It is at everyone's fingertips, and they still don't do it. There are people, Anthony. Fucking. There are people. At least I think it's Anthony. There's fucking, yes, Anthony Brian Logan. Brain. I forgot your name for a second. There are people who still think the Earth is flat. Despite all of the information pointing that they are wrong. There are people right now that still think, to this day, that there are lizard people controlling the fucking government. Despite all the information that points elsewhere. Dude. Your method has already been tried. All that information is available. I'm done. I'm done. I don't I don't have to watch the rest of your video. I don't think it gets better. I don't think it gets better from here. But just in case, a little more as a treat. Give me the information. I already did. And when you see certain things from the FDA itself, it, it kind of gives you a red flag beyond what the federalists want to tell you on television. Prime example is what I placed on the screen before you. This is a tweet, yes, but I have an actual source from the FDA in the box so you can read it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Don't take Andy Swan's word for it. Read it for yourself. But the tweet reads, FDA approval requires Pfizer to submit study results analyzing risk of myocarditis, and pericarditis and risk to long-term infant development in pregnant women. Now, first things first, doesn't that kind of give you a red flag right there? It's like, okay, if there needs to be a study to look into those specific things, maybe there already been a problem with those specific things before. If you are a pregnant woman, had there already kind of been weird things going on if you were if you had the shot and you were pregnant, maybe. Maybe there have been myocarditis and pericarditis. Is this just going to be maybes? Is, is it just going to be maybes? Can we can we have something solid? You say that the information was not given to you, but you, you, you sit here screaming maybe, maybe this, my opinion that, maybe that, maybe this, maybe this. Can we be done with maybes? Can, can, we, can we get to the point where, where you actually say what, what has happened? How these experiments have actually happened. You 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 apparently have been very diligent about putting a whole bunch of sources in the description, and I applaud you for that. That's wonderful. I, I wish that I was still at the, at the stage where I could grab all the sources in the world uh, to do things like I used to do with all my edited content. I wish that I could do that. But, dude, Again, all the information for that, all, all that is available for you. You can find the risk. Like, we literally have documented risk of pregnancy with COVID. In fact, actually, hold on. Let's see here. Let's see here. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see. Do COVID vaccines affect for, uh, fertility? Uh, da, da, da. The American College of Gynecology itself is conjunction. Da, da, da. The data has been vetted very carefully and published. Okay, I'm not. Hold on. Those are advertisements. Here we go. Let's actually look at the CDC real quick. New CDC data COVID 19 vaccination safe for pregnant people. CDC has released new data on the safety of COVID-19 vaccines in pregnant people and is recommending all people 12 years of age and older get vaccinated against COVID-19. CDC encourages all pregnant people uh, who are thinking about becoming pregnant and those who are breastfeeding to get vaccinated to protect themselves from COVID-19. 
The vaccines are safe and effective and has never been more urgent to increase vaccinations as we face a highly transmissible Delta variant and see severe outcomes from COVID-19 among unvaccinated pregnant people. This information was made available to you on August 11th of 2021. You? This video was made on August 25th of 2021. This information was available to you. At all times, literally, it's been there. It's been available. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. Not gonna scream. Not gonna bludgeon my head anymore. I'm gonna do the healthy thing. I'm gonna do the thing that I should have done before this episode started. And close out of your video. Yeah. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I need to go watch Hunter's video on this guy, because apparently Hunter Avalon covered him as well. The healthy thing. Drink? Yes. That drink is good. And I have had it now. Anyways. You know what to do. If you want to support channel, you have ways of doing it. If you don't want to, fine. Go to ddlgplayground.com, use coupon code SIRIS. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Kidding. Anyway. Anyway. With all that said, as always, everyone, insert into video tagline here. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. If you want access to behind the scenes content for the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon. I do weekly vlogs over there where I give uh, real life updates to what's going on behind the scenes on the channel, stuff that you don't really get uh, over here and, and even on Twitch. Uh, Patreon also helps the channel's stability a whole lot. Without Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do this at all. Especially with the kind of content that I do, neither YouTube nor Twitch are the most stable sources of income. If you are a $20 and up patron, then you will be featured on the ending slides as shown in the beginning of the end credits. If you want to catch the streams where all this content comes from, then consider heading over to Twitch and following. And if you want to continue watching over here on YouTube, maybe consider clicking one of the end screen videos. And once again, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me over on my channel. I wouldn't be able to do literally anything that I'm doing over here on YouTube without each and every one of you. So thank you.